what's going on guys welcome back today we are actually doing our anonymous hacker simulator maybe if it did it freeze it says access the computer but I can't walk around uh, okay let's look at it windowed how about this how about not full screen what'd that do Okay, we're going to exit to the main menu and come back. So, welcome back. We are doing our hack anonymous hacker simulator. There we go. And we are back in. So, let's go ahead and get into it. What are we doing here? Well, let's find out. Let's get crazy. Let's check the news and see where we left off. So, uh, if you remember, we actually like killed people last time. We actually came in. I got to turn the music off. We actually came in and we blew the rocket up in midair. Um it didn't say people were on it but i don't know if people were so i think we killed some people um that was pretty intense i wasn't expecting that so if you guys are liking this video if you guys are liking the content the anonymous hacker simulator hit that like button hit the sub button because it's the only way the channel grows so let's go ahead and get into it and start diving into some of our um more intense ones so you can see we're at 52 percent. so i'm trying to keep that low but there's not really a way to lower it like there is but like if you go here you see i have one cipher credit you need um like two or three and these don't even lower it really so there is a it slowly drains so you can see determines the rate at which your anonymity factor decreases over time um it does decrease over time but what am i supposed to do just sit here like not play the game so i don't really understand that um we've got one thousand three hundred dollars we had like thirty thousand so we're really running low on funds so let's go ahead and look at our first objective Gun, oh wow, I forgot about this. We're going straight to the Pentagon. Gain unauthorized access to the Pentagon systems. Extract their archive by exploiting a vulnerability in their security infrastructure. Okay, so analyze the leaked government file, urban operations journal.txt. So, and keep in mind, I also have like a bunch of um, files here that I could actually, like credit card files and stuff, but I don't really want to do them because my heat has just been that 50% the entire time. So, okay, so we're looking for urban operations journal.txt. Okay, so it wants me to probably use the identify vulnerability in the hosts. Okay, so it wants me to use OpenVos, which is a scanner. It's just funny that they got away with because uh, I mean, it is an open source tool, but so it wants me to scan these and see if I can find anything. Okay, perfect. There we go. Okay, so let's use OpenVos, which is a new tool, by the way. We haven't used that yet here. So we can use this on, I guess we just do every, try every P, right? Every IP, right? So the army.gov. And then we'll, keep in mind, if you did this in real life, um, you'd be busted pretty fast, right? <laughs> so just know that. Um, okay, uh, the other thing that's interesting is they actually threw DISA in here. Shout out. You know what I'm saying? Um, I used to work for DISA, one of the agencies. So that's actually cool. Um, shout out for to DISA. Oh, I you gotta finish the command, right? These are all .gov, so the jcs.gov, okay. Now what else we got? So they're just it's just trying everything, supposedly. Okay, nothing there. So what's the next one? The WHS, okay. All right, I like how it's the army. The army. Oh, possible backdoor. Severity 1.0. Oh, so it does tell you. Okay, so that one worked because it went to the next one. So we'll leave it. I would normally just keep scanning and finish it out. Like in a real pen test, I would make sure I do all of them. But it's telling us, hey, here we go. So let's try it. So get this intercept the HTTP request containing the target targets IP and host name okay so we're just gonna say interceptor and we're gonna say one we did it on the whs.com so we will say the whs which is 50.74.30.0 and what this is supposed to be doing is intercepting communications from there um that would this work in real life no just keep that in mind uh but not at least not this not this way they're doing it um 
whs.gov. So they're definitely simplifying it, but we'll see. Okay, what did I do wrong? 50.74.30.0. Intercept the HTTP request containing the target's IP and host name. And it was the whs.gov. Maybe that wasn't the right one. Maybe we we're supposed to. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the. So the army.gov. We'll do the disa.gov. Maybe maybe that wasn't the right one. Oh wait, I did do it on the wrong one. Hold on, hold on. I did do it on the wrong one. I'm a clown. This is on. Oh no, it is the whs. Okay, so we did do it on whs. All right, we'll try one more just to. Just because out of curiosity anyway, I wanted to actually do these. The Navy.gov. All right. And then you can see the sender. All right, so that is the only one. So we have 50.74.30.0, which is the IP, right? And then we have TACT and then the hostname.com, which is the whs.gov right there we go I had an extra space in there I thought it looked kind of weird all right searching tables we're intercepting and starting okay here we go what do we got download okay so it looks like they have the refer okay so we've got the content type they've got a www form Looks like they have the referrer, which is the SQL injection.aspx. Okay, interesting. Logged file has been saved in the logs. Use SQL map. So they, they're saying there's a SQL injection and they figured it out. Um, and here's the referrer needed. So if you've never used SQL map in real life, like you can do all this. What I mean is you can get the referrer, the cookie, all that stuff set up in SQL map. You can actually use SQL map um, by directly exporting burp suite law, uh, packets so that it just does it. It's really nice, really handy. I recommend you do it, but they're obviously simplifying all that. So it says now read the log file. Okay, so we got to go to the file, which is logs and this one. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, read it. It's the same thing as before. Perfect. Okay, so read the file. Find the download URL. Oh, okay. So download URL. which is interesting, but okay, whoops, there we go. Okay, got the download URL. Can we use curl or what do we do now? Okay, so now we're gonna use it in SQL map. So we're actually sending the entire, um, there we go. Analyze the intercepted file command. Okay, so now we're using the whole file, which is interesting. So 50.74.30.0 the whs.gov.txt. I'm not sure why they asked us to find the download link if you're just going to do the whole file anyway, but I get the concept because that is the packet request or that is the request you'd make, right? But you, this is exactly what I'm talking about. They took a packet and they sent it over to go ahead and um, have SQL map do it. And then we can just do SQL dump, which will SQL dump the information. Um, so the file is. I think we just do the same one, right? Which was this one. Perfect. And then table name. Well, I don't know the table name yet because, oh wait, it did tell us two tables. Table name would be server.content, server.request. Let's just do server.content um, for now. But funny enough, it's actual if you if you've used actual SQL map, it's kind of like that. You have to like keep progressing it. Um, you you have to do it one step at a time, unless you know the tables already. But okay, authentication token false, content disposition archive backup true. Okay, so replace the missing temp values from the URL with the correct values. Okay, so content. How do we do that in the file though? Because we can't edit the file. Okay, so we're do the same thing. But see, that's what's weird is, let's go back to, 
That's the only thing that's weird is like I can't um, replace the missing temp values from the URL with the correct values. Some values are found inside the intercepted file. Well, I mean, I can replace them. The problem is, um, how do I even do that in here? Because if we go here and we open this, and we go to disposition, which is there, right? Disposition, authentication token. But how do I edit this? I can't edit it. So that's going to be the next step, right? So you can't place the missing temp values from the correct from the URL with the correct values. Download. Okay, so that's why you got to do wget and then the URL. So we now take the whole URL, which is what was throwing me for a loop. Because you can't edit files in here. That's why I was thrown. I'm like, how am I going to edit this? So we're going to go here. We're going to say copy. We're going to go back to wget. We're going to say boom. Oh, no, it did the glitch. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to say long commands are grayed out by default. Okay. Content disposition. And you can see content disposition is authentication token. So we're going to say change that to authentication token and language equals. Okay, well, we don't know the language yet. Requested. Um, okay, so we have to do the whole thing. Archive backup. Okay, so we got language and then X requested and then match with. Okay, so give me a sec because I have to open a new terminal and run it. Let's see if it saved it. Oh, it didn't. Okay. So now, and this is what I love about this game, dude. It's actually like, I think I'm better off just deleting this and trying it or doing it again. Let's do it over here. So we say over here, wget. I was afraid of that. wget, and then we'll open this file. Go right here. Copy. Go over here to URL name. I know you've got a disposition was um, authentication token. Okay, and then over here we'll do the same thing, but we're going to do, I don't want to open VOS, um, SQL map, but it says server content, we want server results. Was it server result? Request. Whoops. Server request. Because we need all of the. Here we have content disposition, but we needed this. So now we go over here. The X requested is HTTP client. HTTP, whoops, HTTP client. Okay, and then we need, doo -doo -doo -doo. what was the next one? Language equals temp. I didn't see a language, did you? Um, let's see up here. Did we find a language? Oh wait, archive backup is the, I got the wrong one anyway over here. So archive backup. Okay. Request X requested PHP HTTP client. Return generic response false. Oh, okay, that's why. Um, return archive backup is true if the X request is XML. So I've got this wrong the whole way anyway. XML HTTP request. All right, and if none match with and with, we want four five two two zero. Four five two two zero. Now the only thing we need is the language. Because archive backup and language. Because I can get the, the language looks like PHP according to up there, but. Um, let's see. Okay, so now we just need the language. 
and I might have missed it. Let's see. Language. I mean, it says PHP, but maybe I just put PHP. I don't know what the OS, all that crap is, so no file found. Okay, great. Um, language. Where is the language? There's only two tables, right? Yeah, found two tables. Server content. I mean, I could try those, but and then it says here, replace the missing temp values from the URL with the correct values. Okay, let's just try and put language back to temp because temp, nope, and then we can try this one. Maybe it's the full thing, I don't know. Now return generic response, turn archive back up true. Okay, so we do it again. Try this. No file found. Okay, I'm sure I'm missing something here. Let's try and change it to this. I'm sure you guys are screaming at the keyboard or at the thing right now. Okay, what do we got here? So content disposition equals authentication token false content disposition equals archive backup true so we have archive backup disposition equals okay language I don't know where that's found right I mean it could is it just SQL like what is the language that they're looking for um, okay fetching found entry request PHP X requested HTTP client return generic response false X requested XML HTTP request XML HTTP request return archive true or return backup true and if none match with 45220 true so we got that we just need the language which is so weird I guess SQL maybe I, I have no idea that was I genuinely have no idea no file found okay server requests all right I am completely lost now I'm lost in the sauce. Some values are found inside the intercepted file. So, oh, okay. Well, that's embarrassing. Some values are found inside the intercepted file. So some of these are in these files. So the intercepted file is going to have some of them. So that's embarrassing. Um, language. Wow, how sad is that? It's English. English. All right, so that just goes to show you guys, even I'm wrong 75% of the time. So, there we go. English US. <laughs> That's so funny. Here's what happens when you don't read right here. So that's not going to happen, like in reality, right? Um, you're not going to DDoS the Pentagon to try and prevent them from seeing another attack. I understand the concept, but they the log's there. They would find it, right? Like if they were smart. Um, okay. It would be a little too late for that. So, okay, now we're going to go to the next one. We're going to do the next one. So let's minimize that. Let's go here. Exit that. Exit that. I Click and exit. Jeez. Okay decoy deception initiate ddos attack multiple terminal windows on 
using multiple terminal windows. Okay, how many of these I got to use? Okay, so now we need to say flood 50. By the way, this is not how a TDOS attack works. I know some people um, have seen this. This is old school. But if you just sat there and did this, um, no software. Oh, I got to buy it. Huh? I didn't buy the Hackify. Well, let's launch it. Let's get the... Uh, wait, where was it? I just saw it. HPing. 300 bucks. Jesus. Okay, flood. Then we'll go over here and we'll say flood. Okay, then we'll go over here and we'll say it says command HPing. And then the 50, 74, 30. Dot zero. Oh, I'm getting a response. Son of a gun. I can't control C either. Okay. So we gotta do more. We gotta do more. Now we say H ping fifty dot seventy four dot thirty dot zero. I'm getting I'm getting a response. We gotta do more. We gotta do more. How many of these do we need? Flood it, flood it. Okay, it has been executed, okay. Oh, I can actually use this now. 50.74.30.0, how many of these do we need? Boom. We DDoS the government. I'll tell you, that's not how it works, but I like it. I like it. That's old school. All right. Now, which one was our first one? Okay. So now we've we've hacked the government. No more side gigs. Oh, wait. New news. Let's go look at the news. What do we got? Government server breach sparks security concerns. Yeah, you think? All right. I like it. I like it. Okay, let's close some of these. Okay, so now we've got all of the regular gigs done. Okay, let's go to the American Psycho one because I want to figure this one out. Search for more information about other associated. Investigate the mystery surrounding Paul Allen. Okay, so let's go to Paul Allen Harvester. Paul Allen. All right, so... Investigate the mystery surrounding Paul Allen, an individual associated with Pearson Pierce Investment, and uncover the evidence that may be linked to his disappearance. Okay, so we need to find out all we can about Paul Allen. So he's got a Twitter account, Paul Allen. Paul Allen, mergers and acquisitions, jet setter. I'm being called away to London for a few days. Deleted that tweet. I want that tweet back. Patrick Bateman. There's another name. Just touched down in Ibiza. All right. So now let's do Harvester. Patrick Bateman. Okay. So search for more information about other associated individuals. Well, it says Pierce and Pierce Investment. Okay. So we got one Twitter account for Patrick Bateman also. Okay, Patrick Bateman, Wall Street, blah, blah, blah. Preparing for an event with Paul Allen. Perfect. Stop at Barney's New York to gather some necessary items for the evening. Well, what's Barney's New York? Can we grab something from there? Enjoy a bit of classical music, Mozart's. I can never... Had dinner at Dorcia last night. Oh, man. If you guys don't get this, it's pretty funny. It's actually... Um, let's see. Let's see if we can do it's actually a reference to um, American Psycho, which is great. I love that movie, but let's see, can we even do it? I think we can do it, um, Harvester on things. Um, oh, we did find it. Let's go, dude. I actually did this on one of the previous ones. I did this forever trying to figure out. I'm on the hunt for a raincoat that not only complements my impeccable style and guarantees 100% protection for my exquisite suits, but also a special kind of axe equally 
exquisite revoked error patrick b service unavailable token expired return five four okay in map 54.35 we need to prove that this guy murdered this guy and also murdered paul allen also he's just pretentious he's going to dorsia and he's got the best business cards you know what i'm saying the system is most likely vulnerable to ssh i think i have that so we can say use x whoops ssh i think you have to have it perfect brute force 1.0 whoops version 1.0.0 ip 54.35.67.30 exploit not available okay so i gotta buy it What did I say? SSH one point. I thought that's what I bought. SSH brute force one point oh point oh. SSH. Uh, that's why. I had it right the first time, you clowns. Okay. Oh, we got my trooper session. Let's see. Pierce log. Patrick Bateman. Hello, sir. I've been looking forward to discussing the upcoming. Promotion, I believe my dedication. Da, 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 okay. Oh, they selected Paul Allen. There you go. That's why they're killing him. Begin the send begin the day by selecting a stylish new raincoat, secure an elegant invitation, purchase a premium bottle of vodka as the evening progresses, expertly curate playlist of hauntingly atmospheric. Finishing off Paul Allen with Wow. Okay. So we downloaded that. Extra info. <laughs> Extra info, Patrick Bateman, Password, American Psycho. Ooh, okay, okay. Well, we got some extra info. Let's go to his email before we just go crazy. So we want to go here, say Patrick B. Uh, I don't know if that's his, I don't know if that's his first email though. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I don't have his email. So we've got his login account that we can sell. That's, I think, all you can do with it is sell it. Okay, so now we can go ahead and say send, and the file name is Paul Allen, I think. Files. PaulAllen.txt. .txt, H, and we're going to send it to lapd.gov. Let's see what happens. Does he get caught? Let's go. Dude, it's it's kind of crazy we only got 50 bucks though. Like, have you guys seen the like I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Um Okay. I don't care about the performance. Um where's the Is it wall variety? That's the custom wallpapers I have. Here we go, marketplace. Like look at this. You can buy a medium PC, right? High end PCs, ten grand. Look at the housing. Ten million dollars. I'm not even. I just have fourteen hundred dollars. Like, come on. All right, guys, that's a good stopping point. I think we'll go ahead and save it. I think that's a good spot. We finally solved the Patrick Bateman thing, and we are progressing pretty well. I actually am still enjoying the game quite a bit. Um, we're still getting new tools, Open Boss today, and HPing, so I'm pretty excited. Excited to see what else we get, but let me know what you guys think. If you like it, let me know in the comments so that I keep finishing the story, and if not, let me know in the comments so I don't finish it. Thanks, guys.